we're at UW right now, we're gonna go see the, the cherry blossoms. UW's pretty famous for it. A lot of people come here just to like take pictures and um, some people take their wedding pictures here too. Expected it to be pretty packed, pretty crowded. I tried to come last year, but they're all dead. <laughs> so hopefully we catch that at the right time. Today I just wanted to show some of my recent pickups, things I've been buying over the past few months. Got a few things over here that I'm pretty excited to show. So let's get right into it. All right, so I already showed this in my last video, so I won't spend too much time talking about it. It's the Issey Miyake Stan Collar shirt. I just bought it because I thought it'd be good for springtime. It's super light, made out of a linen material, I believe, super flowy as well. And it has these hidden um, buttons, so when you button it, you can't really see it. And it also has this hidden pocket on the chest. Just a nice shirt, something I can throw on whenever. Next up, we got the Vuja Day leather belt dust bag as well. Yeah, not much to say about it. It's just a leather belt made out of a thick cut of calfskin leather. And it smells super good as well. Actually, it smells like a brand new car. And yeah, I'm just excited to put some wear into this, see the unique characteristics that the belt develops. Been watching Ken's videos for a while now. He's really putting on for us Japanese people. So whenever I'm able to support his brand, I'd like to do so. Here we got a pair of loafers from the brand Adu Paris. This is a really like high quality shoe actually and you're not paying like the designer prices. This is a good alternative for the high-end designer brands like the shoes that they make. But it's also like a more elevated Doc Martin, I'd say. So, you know, if you don't wanna if you don't wanna get the docks, you get these instead. Just pay like a little, a little more. I kind of messed up when it came to sizing on this shoe. I'm usually a size nine in most footwear, but in loafers and derbies, I'm a size eight. So I got a size eight in these, but they're just way too sore to wear. But yeah, maybe I'll just suck it up because I really like the look of it. It has a nice chunky sole. So it's not super formal, I guess you could say. Here we have a vintage M65 military parka. Pretty much just a big coat. I like to throw it on on days where it might be raining. I kind of just beat it up and I don't really have to think about what I'm wearing. I go to class in it sometimes. I feel a little foolish walking in because I look a little bummy, a little out of place. I look like I'm a Attack on Titan character or something, look like I'm about to go to war, but it's okay, I like it. I know Vizim makes one of these as well. That's kind of how I like, how I kind of got on my radar, I guess, seeing the Vizim one, but I'm not paying $2,000 for one of these. All right, so we got two more outerwear pieces to show and I kind of saved these two for last because they're my favorite things that I've picked up recently. This first one, it's a overshirt from the brand Aura Lee. I haven't owned anything from the brand before, but I came across this and I really appreciate the minimalism and a lot of their designs. And I think that's kind of the way my closet is trending at the moment. Like this is just something I could throw on every day, not really think about my outfit. Kind of like a nice uniform top. This is made out of 65% um, wool, 24% cashmere. So it's super warm and super soft on body, actually. It might be the most comfortable thing I own. Like I don't even, I kind of forget I have it on sometimes. Yeah, I've really put an emphasis on buying things that are high quality, things that are gonna last me a while and I can wear no matter what might be trending at the moment. But yeah, let's move on. My last pickup got this vintage leather jacket been on the hunt for a leather jacket for maybe like a year and a half now um, i was being super picky about the ones that was coming across sometimes they have like buckles around the waist or they might have zippers on the hands or up here those are cool but i didn't really want 
um, one in that style. I had a really specific vision for the type of leather jacket that I wanted to get. And I was able to come across this one. My friend Josh, who was in my last video, he sold this to me. He was gracious enough to give it to me for the price that he paid for it. Um, so I ended up paying a hundred bucks. And I think that's an absolute steal for a nice leather jacket like this. But yeah, yeah, that's about it. Josh, you kind of messed up by giving this to me. I love this jacket. I would have paid like five times what I paid for it. I love it. I lied. This will be the last pickup that I show. I think everybody knows what these are. The Croc boots. Um, I bought these um, like in the summertime actually. So not that recent of a pickup, but I went to Vegas for the first time, hit the slot machines, and I was able to get lucky enough to win some money. And I was able to win enough where I could buy these. So I wanted to get these just because we live in Seattle, it rains a lot. So I thought it would keep me protected from the elements. Yeah, I enjoy it, it's fun. Um, kind of hard to walk down the stairs in these though. Um, one time when I was walking in the lobby, I was walking down some stairs. I totally ate it in front of a bunch of people. It's pretty embarrassing, but I looked kind of cool, I guess, when I fell. We're in the studio right now. Got the clips loaded up. Uh, uh, this video, what is this dropping? This Friday. This is what 3K subs looks like. 3K subs, on the way to 10K. Road to 10K. <laughs> <laughs> Tech pack, I'm working on it right now. Gonna send it to the manufacturer soon. Mm. Gonna pick out some, uh, what is it? Materials. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it should be like first sample probably within the next like month or so. Recording this on uh, April April 13th. April yeah, 13th. So give me a month for the first <laughs> sample. I don't know if I'll show it in a video or not, but it's definitely going to be a big rollout and everything. So yeah, I don't know. Next next couple months are going to be pretty nice. I'm going to be dropping. I'm, I might try to drop like more videos. Actually, I'm not going to say that. Because <laughs> don't, I don't make wanna, these promises. I, I don't want to make those promises yet. Um, but yeah, there's going to be a lot of like New York content in the summer. Moving wow. in uh, probably September. There's a good YouTube video about New York. You oh, yeah. Check out, it's a special, uh, a NYC guy. shopping and food tour, I think. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> check it out. He's working on the next one right now. Inception. Yeah, bro. We got, uh, got a lot of stuff coming. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's I'm good, a real munch. It's good chopstick work. This is real munch hours right now. <laughs> Damn, a bug just went on my hand. Just got this in the mail. Um, this is a pickup that most people probably aren't expecting to see in a video like this but if you know me you know how big of a basketball fan i am and more specifically a celtics fan so i had to buy um jason tatum's new signature shoe yeah i don't play much anymore i'm kind of washed now but i'll probably just use this for running working out something like that why do these look kind of sick like this though maybe i gotta wear them casually instead <laughs> But um, back in March, I was fortunate enough to go see the future 2023 NBA champions, the Boston Celtics, play the Blazers down in Portland. I went to some stores when I was there as well. So I'll include some footage of that right now. Oh yeah, it's nice place. Yeah, those are sick. Oh, oh, oh. sake. <laughs> sake gross. Those are sick.
I kind of just wanted to film some stuff, um, providing like little life update and talking about a posting schedule for myself. So right now, um, I said it before, but I'm in college. Um, gonna graduate in June, hopefully. Might be a little busy, a couple months, but then after that, gonna be going back to Hawaii. Um, excited to see friends, family. Um, so I'll definitely film stuff over there, just showing beaches, hikes, good food, some shopping, all that. And then as far as like a posting schedule goes, I don't think I'll ever be someone who's gonna post like once a week, twice a month kind of thing. Um, you know, I really wanna take my time with these videos, make sure I'm putting something out that I'm proud of, that I'm satisfied with. So, you know, I hope you guys, if anybody even cares, I hope you guys can bear with me. Um, I don't know how many people are gonna watch this, but yeah, I think I'll probably just post more randomly, post when I feel like it. And then, you know, hopefully it can be a nice surprise. I like when my favorite YouTubers, they post like just all of a sudden um yeah it's just a nice surprise for your day and then you know maybe one day i can get one of those wake up babe out on posted comments but yeah that's about all i gotta say um wish me luck hope i graduate i'll see you guys in hawaii